Classic Art Readers, Level 3. The Works of Gustav Klimt. Copyright 2023. Seed Learning. All rights reserved. Introduction Gustav Klimt was one of Austria's most famous painters. His early works show his talent for traditional art. His later works show his personality and creativity. If you visit Vienna, you can see Klimt's large murals on the walls and ceilings of many of Vienna's important buildings. You can also find his oil paintings and portraits in museums. Early Life Gustav Klimt was born on July 14, 1862, in Baumgarten. This is near the city of Vienna in Austria. He was born into a large family. There were nine in total, his parents, three boys and four girls. He was the second oldest child. Klimt's father was a gold engraver. However, there was not much work available for him. This meant that Klimt's family was poor and often moved around when he was young. From a young age, Klimt showed a talent for art. At 14 years old, he started attending the Vienna School of Applied Arts. He studied there for seven years. Klimt's brother Ernst also studied at this school. Early work In 1888, Klimt painted the old Berg Theater in Vienna. The painting looked like a photo. It impressed Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria. He awarded Klimt the Golden Order of Merit. Klimt, his brother Ernst, and their friend Franz worked as a team called the Company of Artists. Many people paid them to create murals and paintings. These were usually put on famous buildings, such as theaters and mansions. They painted the ceiling of the old Berg Theater in Vienna. They also created murals for other important buildings. One is on the Grand Stairway in the Kunsthistorisches Museum. A second mural is on the ceiling of the Great Hall at the University of Vienna. These are just a few of the murals the three men painted together. The three worked together until 1892, when both Klimt's father and brother died. Later Works – A Change in Art Style the death of his father and brother marked a change in Klimt's style. He stopped painting large murals and moved to painting canvases. He no longer painted with the realistic style he learned in school. Instead, he started creating more abstract paintings. This became known as Art Nouveau, New Art. Klimt was inspired by ancient Byzantine mosaics. These mosaics were made with tiny pieces of colored glass and stone. These pieces were used to make patterns and images. The mosaics also included expensive metals such as gold and silver. From 1901 to 1909, Klimt used a lot of gold and metal paint in his new paintings. This was called his golden face. Klimt did not produce many paintings with gold leaf. However, these paintings are what Klimt is best known for today. These paintings were also symbols. He wanted the images in his paintings to have more meaning than what was just seen. The Tree of Life is just one example of his paintings that include symbols.
When studying these paintings, you can admire them for their color and beauty. You can also try to understand the meanings of the images in each painting. Not everyone was happy with Klimt's new style of art. However, Vienna's richest people loved his work. They often paid him a lot of money to create their portraits. Even today, Klimt's paintings sell for very high amounts at auction. Vienna Secession Klimt became one of the founders and the president of the Vienna Secession. This special group of artists was formed in 1897. These artists did not follow the traditional art styles of that time. They moved away from historicism, much like artists in many other European countries were doing. The group did not encourage a specific style of art. Instead, they wanted to provide a space where any and all art styles were encouraged. They wanted artists to share different ideas. They even brought in art and artists from other countries for new ideas. The group also wanted to provide a place for its artists to showcase their work. They had an art magazine called Sacred Spring. They also built the Secession Building for art exhibitions. Legacy Gustav Klimt was, and still is, the most famous Austrian painter. Many of his later works were about love, life, and death. His art continues to speak to people generations after his death. Klimt's works are famous around the world and sell at very high prices. Portrait of Adele Blockbauer I was sold for $135 million in 2006. This made it the most expensive painting ever sold at that time. In 2016, Portrait of Adele Blockbauer II was sold for $150 million. In the same year, Klimt's Water Serpents II was sold for $170 million. Klimt went against traditional art styles in his later works. Many people criticized him for this. However, it did not stop him from painting what he wanted. Instead, he fearlessly made a path for artistic freedom. This also helped other artists who came after. <laughs>